Hola, hola mi gente. Today, welcome back to my channel. I get paid every other week. So today is not, a, this week is not a pay, a pay period where I get paid. So I'm just gonna go update my balances. I do two payments a month. So I make a whole payment for the whole month, but into two, and I break it down into two pay periods. That way it's not as heavy. And then I'm not trying to break it down to, where it's balanced for the pay period and it's just a big headache trying to figure out like that. So it's easier for me to see that um, everything is half a payment and it's pretty much equal through every pay period. And that way I know I'm not stressed enough like, oh, how much overtime do I have to put in and things like that. With this method also, I don't have any overtime to put in. Everything's pretty much balanced with what I make. And so, let's get right into it. Don't mind me, I'm just logging in. So for my student loans, I just started paying it. I graduated in 2022, May 2022, and I have not been making any payments. My total was $34,000. Um, and I just been seeing how the payments are divided. So, so far this month, I've only paid, I believe, $50 about. So my total for my student loans is 34,793.9. Moving along to Best Buy. Best Buy is one of those that I wanna pay off within the next three to four pay periods. So I've been sending $222 every paycheck, even though the minimum payment is $29. It was at 1,300. If I wasn't mistaken, it was at 1376. So right now it's down to about 900. And it's not logging in. <laughs> Let's try something else. Let's try my Bank of America. That's with my car. And Wells Fargo are also with my car. With this one, I have 15, uh oh, 034.74, and the payment is 699. This is the full payment. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do the Wells Fargo as well. And for this one, it's 900.412.67. And there's two reasons why I do this every other pay period. That way I can see if the payment went through. Because sometimes some take about five days. Some of them go immediately. It just depends on how the receiving bank gets um, pay the payment. And so for this one, it says that I owe 493 Okay, mm, moving on to my Capital One Bank. This one says that we owe $5,854.99. And the minimum payment for this one, I don't think it has shown up yet. It was 202 for August 6th. So it still hasn't, the half payment is 104. Okay, going back to Best Buy. Ba -ba -ba. So we are still at 942.92. And hopefully my goal is to have it paid within, so two, four, six, eight for four pay periods. So in the middle of September, I'm going to my Citibank card. This one is 2,126.95 and the minimum payment has been made. And this one I believe is due on the 16th, if I'm not mistaken. Mm 
I'm now going to, I have four chase cards because I was trying to travel hack for Disney. Okay, and so the main one that I own is $12,179. And the minimum payment for that one is $415. And then we have chase card number two, and that is $8,201.03. And then the minimum payment as of now is 322. This one is due on the 7th. And then the second one is due on the 2nd. Okay, and for my star furniture, this one is 1,481.03. Chase card number three is 9,248.74 cents. This one is due on the 14th. And it has a minimum payment of 577. The next This one has a payment of 145 due. So my question is, what would you do? Would you pay off this one after paying off the Best Buy? Would you pay off a student loan? One of my student loans is due, it's under 500 now. Well, it was at 500, but with the $50 payment, it's like at 450. So would you put this, pay the student loan? I believe this one is like at 4%. And then my second choice is to pay off either the star furniture, but this one is at 0%. Or pay off the Citibank. And this one is like the standard 24%. So would you put a, pay off the student loan to help you like make a little snowball but you put on this uh i put student loans twice star furniture which is at zero percent or would you pay the city bank so option number one option number two and option number three go ahead and leave your thoughts and explanation on what you would do none of them is a bad answer so my idea if i do this to known and it'll make like a little snowball but then that ecosystem the star furniture will be the snowball so technically the next smallest one would be star furniture which is a thousand dollars a thousand four hundred and eighty one but then also the next logical step but could be that we can pay the city bank which is at a higher percent interest okay so i wrote everything down and these are my student loans so <clears throat> For my student loans, this is what I owe every month. It'll be uh, almost $350 monthly. So with the remaining Best Buy, loan three, it has currently 450. The next one will be 1500, almost 16. The next one is 17.5 and so on and so forth. To so the last loan, which is $7,000. <clears> So what I'm asking with everything that I owe, I think it's about, um, I'll put it in when I do the editing video. So with that, would you want something that's a fast win, which would be a student loan, which is $500. Would you just do something to follow the method, which is the snowball method. So. This will be the snowball, and this will be the interest method. So go, go ahead and comment below and see what you would do. And I understand every point of view. That's why I'm conflicted as to what it is that I want to do. Or if you have done this before and what worked for you or if it didn't work out as you thought it would. Because these are my first student loans. These are my only student loans that I have. Um... 
for my degree so yeah thank you so much and i'll see you later bye